how important are days like Field of Force Day? I think Field of Force Day is a brilliant concept because it allows people with physical and learning difficulties access to, to Star Wars and sci-fi and TV uh, in a way that they wouldn't normally normally have. Um, and uh, as was proven by the very first Field of Force Day, it was a brilliant success and uh, everyone got such a lot out of it. Um, and um, yeah. And what did you like about the first Field of Force Day? The first Field of Force Day was brilliant because there were people there that had never been to a convention before, purely because of the difficulty of them actually accessing that sort of event because of the crowds of people and the, you know accessing the buildings and all of that sort of thing. But Feel the Force had thought about all of this, it was a much smaller event and uh, they really were able to, to, to look after the needs of everybody who, who came to the event and that was what was so, so brilliant about it. Uh, um, how do you feel the Force they create that kind of access for people who can't usually access those things? What kind of things were there? Doing? The organisers of Feel the Force had thought about everything um, and they made sure that uh, whatever the, the uh, attendee's disability was, they could access Star Wars in some way. Um, so for anything from toys to touch to feel for blind people, um, also smell jars, which I'd never really heard of before, but you can actually, you know, smell a Wookiee. I mean, I don't know why you want to, but you could indeed sniff in the jar and, and smell a Wookiee. I mean, Ewoks actually smell a lot nicer, so I think next time they should have the smell of... Uh, the smell of Ewoks. Uh, there was also a, a sort of a touch tour as where you could feel things. Um, sadly, Princess Leia's gold bikini wasn't there. Oh, it was there. <laughs> <laughs> the 501st Legion were there as well, um, and they are a group who dress up in authentic Star Wars costumes from Darth Vader to Stormtroopers, uh, all the way through to um, Princess Leia in her slave gold bikini. Um, and, uh, and guests were allowed to go up and, and, and feel and, and touch these these costumes, uh, which was which was which was certainly a highlight for me. Uh. <laughs> um, so, so why do you enjoy going to these days so much, Warwick? Why do you support them? <laughs> yeah. Other than Princess Leia Gold Bikini. <laughs> Apart from Princess Leia's Gold Bikini uh, touch tour, touch tour, um, I enjoyed the day because it, it was just so brilliant to see people's enjoyment, the attendees who you know, had, had, had very, very limited access to Star Wars, were able to take that a little bit further uh, at the event and, uh, you know, put images that they had in their minds and feel those things and smell those things and, and it, it, it really fills in all the blanks for them and makes Star Wars more accessible and more of an experience for them. And uh, So yeah, it's such a brilliant, brilliant concept and, you know, so brilliantly pulled off considering it was their first time uh, and I, I can only hope the event will go from strength to strength in the future. And have you got anything to say about JJ, the, the kind of chief organiser of Field of Force? Yeah. I've known JJ now for some years and uh, apart from being one of the nicest people you ever meet, he's also brilliant at what he does and that is communicating with deafblind people. Uh, and uh, he, he's, he's just fantastic. I mean, I marvel when I when I watch him work and, um, you know, he's enriched so many people's lives, you know, and everybody he meets um, really, really takes away a great, a great experience from him. Um, I'm also a patron of a charity, Little People UK, and JJ's been involved a lot with that, coming and drawing and, and just meeting the members of the group. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your five minute call. I'm also the patron of a charity called Little People UK that helps people with dwarfism and uh, JJ is often invited to the events to, to draw pictures, he's a brilliant cartoonist and uh, it just makes everybody feel good about themselves uh, which is, uh, is a great skill and, uh, and something that uh, I'm so glad he's, he's able to share with the world.